worthy of. Gauntero Dim. Greetings. And as you've already heard before this video started, I was tasked to create a deck. Unfortunately, I was told I, I, this was one of the conditions of the pact I made with the god himself. I had to create a deck that included him in it, and a deck that, in, that includes some of the most vile and cruel mechanics that the game has to offer. And this is one that definitely fits the bill. Unfortunately, God himself takes up quite a bit of space in this deck, which means that this deck is obviously not the prime deck. And for those of you who know who I am and know that I agree to such packs like this, he told me to get two victories with such a deck with him in it, and he will let me go of my pact. So, the deck I am choosing to include him on is this. Now, there is really nothing more for me to say apart from if you don't know how this deck works, then you clearly have not been playing on the high levels of Gwent enough. Anyone who has played Gwent long enough should be very, very familiar with the mechanics of this deck. It revolves around... Well, it used to revolve around one thing, now it revolves around two because I did bring in the god himself. But as always, I will leave a link to it in the description below, as well as all my social medias. Feel free to join me on my Discord as now I have a permanent link to all on, on all of my videos. But this is what I must do to fulfill the pact. And as much as I enjoy inflicting pain, inflicting anger, inflicting rage on my opponent's hearts, I'd like to do so on my own free will, but for now, this will have to do. So, this deck, of course, I went ahead and used the one ability that gave me the most provision bonus just because I knew how much of a roadblock that God was going to give. Now, I do sound like I'm insulting him, but he understands. He doesn't cheat. He knows the strengths and weaknesses of such a deck. An easy blow to destroy the scenario definitely sets this deck back quite a bit. But it still maintains its power through its supporting actors. Of course, Gontoro Dim himself is no supporting actor. He is the main star. But other than that, the deck itself looks very straightforward. Of course, this is not the exact type you would find in Ladder, but you should be very familiar with the mechanic itself and the way it is played. It is very similar to how decks that include this mechanic is involved. The second pact is that I was the second terms of the pact is that I was not allowed to spoil the name or to leak the name to be more in tune with the community. I was not allowed I'm not allowed to sport to say the name of the mechanic, but if you don't know what it is, then you're clearly living under a rock. And the third change I should have made is this. That is some that is a change that I did not make, but perhaps you can make a change of it on your own in your own decks if you ever choose to play this. But that will be the deck list. The deck intro. Of course, leave a like if you did enjoy the video. And other than that, let's head over for some massacre. Alright, so uh, it is unfortunate that our first poor soul has to be of our own faction. But we do go second, so this should be fun. However, we need to find our scenario. Otherwise, this strategy will not work. We do have the god himself, however. She should guarantee us. Oh, that probably gets hit with that. So be it. <clears throat> it's 
It's quite unfortunate, actually, because a simple Vincent can instantly take this out. But whether I want to start with the Vincent, I am uncertain. Perhaps I shall start with Mata. Get my scenario out, play it, and then kill it with Vincent. However, the Hefty Helga gets a lot of value already. With me, you'll forget but regardless, we require, we require our scenario in this case. It's just whether or not I will play Gaunt, I will play Vincent Van Morlehem immediately, or if I should wait. Hurrah. I may actually play Vincent instantly. Used to be, I, hunted games. I may not wait. Men bring more coin. This is a very risky play, but I I fear I believe it must be done. If we can beat him on even, then it will be a well payout. Just remember, he made me do this. He instructed me to build a deck that would fit his needs. And so I have done just that. Nice, Tedatu. A mere lock that does nothing. Very common for just a... Uh, well, just an ordinary dance, player. Dance till the sun sings its morning song. But I am no ordinary player. Is this in Slave 6? It's in Slave 6. He must not have Yennefer's Invocation or Karathi Heatwave. I have no need to worry for that. Few vultures dare venture into the Mormorlohem's wood. I'm not afraid. But perhaps we should bleed. Yes. The bleed may prove to be the better play here in the long term. But first I may play the Thirsty Dame. Oh dear. Have I something in my teeth? Mm. As good as dead, that lot. I did not- I chose not to play around that like an idiot. Very well. No matter. The hounds have got to Feeling a bit selfish. At this rate, he stands no chance of winning. Then again, I've, al I've also invested a lot more in cards, but I will be getting them all back rather easily. That's the issue with Enslaved 6, is it, it becomes very predictable as to what cards you'll find in their deck. So he immediately goes for Fion. How fascinating. It must mean... It must mean that Stefan Skelen himself will appear. Although I have a feeling I will I doubt that even Stefan will be able to save him. Curious. Well, I feel like I may want to save the cupbearer, so I will do so. Actually, oh, I've already played it. All right, no matter. I fear Stefan will go on this side, so. And by the time that... Hmm. Curious. <sighs> Tis a sad day. Unfortunately, it is a necessary. It was quite sad, actually, having to resort to this. 
Unfortunately, I could not take it anymore. I had no choice. I fear Daithwan Arbalest might not have a use here. I am free to eliminate him. The Invocation, on the other hand, may find some use here. Well, I don't... Hmm. Well, our first play here is obvious. But we did win on even, so... Magic dies. This world dies. Before. We are able to make a push. Hmm. That's that's just a mere that's just a mere tourney joust. Ah, he's already using enslave. Good. I like it. I like the drive. I really like the drive. Does that mean he holds Elder Bear in hand? Perhaps. Perhaps. I fear gone to I fear the god's services might be required. Although he will die. He will most certainly die. I may be able to afford to spend one poison, but that might be all. I do not wish to play the invocation on the seer. Let us play a poison. I have a strange feeling that we have plenty of other poisons available to us. Especially in the third round. So be it. Star content, you shall be victorious today. <laughs> well, this will be the counter to his elder bear. There should be no way that he is able to bring back Fion. Let us call on the services of God. I never cheat. And neither do I. I never cheat. But I unfortunately, I am forced to play my hand by must. I never miss. And that will be my pass. We may still have a game here, who knows? I got Morale, I got Joachim, I require Roderick, or... I need an Aristocrat. Hmm. Well, without the Masquerade Ball, this will be tough. We also couldn't get our hands on Albrecht, which is very unfortunate. Perhaps we can make a combo out of Yennefer and Joachim that we can perhaps utilize. He's yet to play his Mata, if he has one. The only issue is, now his Elder Bear is free to be used. Menno, not a good sign. I, I fear that our own Thirsty Dame might die. What does he play? Truly. He's yet to play. He hasn't played a single tourney joust. That scares me. That tells me that my thirsty dame will not see the light of day that much. But we have no choice. We have to play it. Ah, uh, a taste of Mordling, is it? Is inevitable, really a matter of time. I may have to lock that. I may have to lock it. He's already played a Purify. The question is, will he have another one? 
I don't think so. I think I'm free to lock this. Sweers? Experimental remedy. Interesting cards he holds. But the question is, what would I have use of them for? Sweers, I can't do anything. Unfortunately. Well, I could steal the Menno, which makes for five points. Tony just eliminates his Thirsty Dame, and... This, I have, there's nothing from his graveyard that I require. Perhaps I'll just play Sweers. He may just also play Sweers right back at me, which is unfortunate. But from what I've seen, I haven't exactly noticed that he has... I feared poison. I feared it. I really did. I may actually, I may, I may actually play the invocation on this. Let's purify this, shall we? Yeah, I may play the invo immediately. The question is, the only thing that concerns me is he played his enslave in round two. Does that tell me that the elder bear is in his hand? Come on, stalkers! We ride. We'll play this. I have to see if the elder bear is hiding in his hand. I don't think it is. My prescription. A bit of blood. So he plans on locking my thirsty dame. Oh no, he plans on bleeding. Ah. Interesting. The Romola has detest in Perhaps we play Morale now then. Or we could play Joachim. Although we will get the non-spying top unit. We have a 50% chance that it ends up being a poison, which completes our combo. Let's take the risk, shall we? This. Not necessarily who I was looking for, but so be it. I had a feeling. That's why I kept Yennefer's invocation. No from outsiders. <laughs> that was his last chance, and he lost it. So I go first this time. I need my hands on that masquerade ball. The obelisk also will be useful in this fight. Don't do that to me. Oh, now I'm in trouble. Now I'm in really big trouble. I may have to try and win this round without the use of Masquerade Ball. So be it. I also don't feel like risking having to use my Roderick as well. Ah, uh, a taste of Morphe, is it? I feared this, actually. Although, you know what? This could be triple Gedonate. This has the capability of it being a triple Gedonate. Would you look at that? Ah, yes. I forget that Gremist is a card that is capable of dealing with my units. However, in retrospect, the card itself is a pretty powerful card, which means that Poison will, will give me value for it. Hmm, pity. One who is blind can yet see. <clears throat> I'm almost tempted to take that for myself. But I will perhaps save it for now. Because I know Gremist is lurking. Yeah. 
Yes, that is what I fear, actually. Reach, reach beyond what the eyes see and the ears hear. Shall we test the waters? I am tempted to play a poison on one of them to see if I can get Gremist out on the field. 24 to 14. It'll be at 18. I have no idea what alchemy card. Uh, uh, the only issue is actually we'll, we'll play this. Worst case scenario, I can always destroy one of them if I must, but their bonded ability will get them rather far. So if he plays Grimace now, I must pass. Unfortunately, I do not have a hand fit to fight a long round. This must be triple get an eighth. It must be. This must be triple get an eighth. Hmm. I wonder. So if we are able to target the get an eighth with our arbalist, we should be fine. We should completely disrupt his combination. However, if he plays Lippy turn one, then unfortunately we won't have that luxury. The caution. That's not enough. That will prompt a pass from me, actually. I could also complete the poison and keep going, but how greedy do I want to be? Well, by the looks of it, I'm. it's not likely that he has anything for my Thirsty Dame unless he's holding us spores, which I fear he would have already played if he did have it. 18... So I'll be at 25, he'll be at 12. Sounds like a good deal to me. Sounds like a good deal to me. Poor soul. Net decking a... Well, I can't say this is triple get an eighth because we haven't seen get an eighth played at all. Which means he did not draw like a god. But neither did I. The god is testing me. That's what I feared. But I am still in the lead, which means this will likely be my pass. The question is, do you pass or do you play? That's what I would want to know. Does it not want to come out? What's happened? Thank you. I was wondering what was going on there. I think I will keep this hand. I like it. Now, if he passes, I may have to play my Asir as my first turn play as opposed to my Masquerade Bowl. I wonder if he wants to push this into a long round three. There is still a Gremist I will have to deal with somehow. But I'll find a way. I will find a way to deal with the Gremist if I must. Hmm. He is thinking about it. Good. Make up your mind. I'm curious whether to banish the Crow Mother or one of the Crow Clan preachers. Perhaps I banish the Crow Mother. While the Crow Clan Preachers do give him more power, I am able to quickly... I am able to quickly eliminate them through Yennefer's Invocation. So I will date one Arbalist that Crow Mother. Wise choice. That Crow Mother will never see the light of day again. Not while I have something to do with it. He will get last say, but... Because this is a long round, which is a round that I thrive in, personally, then... We should be fine, but I do need to eliminate a seer and I need to draw more golds than I have ever before. I'll break and a seer are both cards that I do not require to see in this deck anymore. I want to get rid of them. Gontaro Dim has appeared. How fitting, actually. Good. Perhaps we can make use for him. While his Gremist is a powerful purifier, it is not strong enough to withstand against the power of our statuses. 
So we have power. Let us go. Let us begin this match. He's gotten rid of the coction, but the question is, will Delirium stand in my way? No, he has Karafi Heatwave. Alright. Something I did not expect, but so be it. I do have two oh, thirsty dames, however. Can I something in my teeth? So I should still be in a in a in an okay position, as I like to call it. This is not good. He's just going to start reacting to my unit's abilities. This is not good. Hmm. Oh, Karathi Heatway banishes. Yes, I had forgotten. Do I want to give away the cupbearer? The reason why is because I he does not hold any statuses. There's no way. So let's just do this. If he has two stunning blows in hand, then I will be quite um, quite amazed, actually. I will be quite amazed. Quite amazed as to why he would have it in the first place, but also at the same time, quite amazed as that he would be patient enough to play that. That's the tough part when they suddenly just start playing reaction cards towards you and you have nothing to play. That's what that's one thing that makes unitless decks relatively annoying, actually. Does he not have another stunning blow? He would have played it already. No. Probably not. Triss? Ugh. There it is. That is one card that will do it. Just He's trying to make this difficult, I see. Very well then. Very well. The Romola has detached into us. His last card may actually be indeed get an eighth. Which does not put us in a good position, unfortunately. Verna Bran. Interesting. We shall do it my way. Where is his Gremist? So he has given me a Gontaro Dim target, which is quite amazing. However, I may play the poison first. Yes, let us play the poison. Uh, I may wait I may wait one more turn before I see what is in his hand. I fear that six may be too much at the moment. So what exactly would I desire from here? Morale would be nice, however it becomes a coin toss between Morale and... and Ra and Joaquim. However, if I could Morale the Joaquim and somehow get Morale, that would be the perfect play. And I mean the perfect play. Unfortunately, I fear that they may, that may not be the case. So he finally shows Gremist. Fascinating. I may have to lock this Gremist, actually. Yes, let us lock the Gremist. Why does he have elf and onion soup? What? What is he what is he plotting at? He plans on destroying his Morkvarg and probably his Gremist. But it's that that's still a very weak play. Don't you pester me. Oh, so I need a sacrifice. What does Roderick get me? Now now it's a now it's a 25% chance or 50% chance. I, I may still want to keep Gaunter. Perhaps I will have to get rid of Roderick actually. Yes, Roderick you can go. I no longer have need for you. But why does he have elf and onion soup? This is a very bizarre deck. A deck that he may actually win with, just because of my lack of ability to deal with him. I 
I did not see what the other two cards are. Those are a mere guess to me. But by the looks of it, so far my hand is considerably stronger than his. So he's played one of them. He made his card to soup. He made his card to soup and it'll add more of an unknown to me, unfortunately. Hmm. He got rid of his crow messenger. Huh. I fear one of these last two cards may be get an eighth. Either that or he never managed to draw it. I'd be quite amazed if he never managed to draw it. We have gained our lead back. Good. Very good. We serve her who is virgin mother His best summon is the preacher. Interesting. Man is an arrogant creature. Now we play the god. Point for me! There's self an onion soup. Interesting choices of targets. But the two targets that I still require are here. Ah, the, the colossal ifrit. That is dangerous. Very dangerous. Hmm. Well, you are gone. I believe this is at the beginning of the turn, the cooldown. It's only for a fine poison. His last card must be get an eighth. Which means we get rid of this. That is his highest power card. 29 points, we lead. Will that be enough? Gods protect us. Twenty six, thirty, one who is blind can thirty six, forty. It is not enough. <laughs> 